Hi friends, MD Vegan. Let's make a quick and easy cucumber salad. But a very easy with tahini. That is um, my latest finding. <laughs> I'm fascinated. So that is really um, a Mexican seasoning tahini. I didn't know that before. I, for some weeks or so, I got it. I found out about it, looked it up, and thought, wow, that sounds interesting. It's, it's, it's a chili, salt, and lime, basically. Three um, flavors that are very exciting together and perfectly fitting together and really giving me excitement. And also in the hot weather, uh, Mexico seems to be hot. I've never been there, but I, I guess it is. Um, it is good for hot weather to have a, a hot seasoning. That cools down the system. So they fight fire with fire if you want. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really delicious. And like you can do the wonderful. I had, first I did a, a mango with the tahini. It was delicious, just mango. Or then papaya and mango, also super delicious. Now I do a cucumber. And I have already um, sliced a cucumber here. I have these wonderful slices. I don't know if that's the way the Mexicans do it, slicing cucumbers, I don't know. I heard about that it's very easy to put a tahini on the cucumber. What I do is I slice the cucumber and I slice a red onion. That's also typical for Mexican food, I know that. I have friends from Mexico and they told me when I was in California, they told me about that. And I want to show you how to slice the red onion. Usually I, th I show slicing how cucumbers slice it. That is um, with a mandolin. It is a wonderful tool for the kitchen. See the V blade is typical for the for the uh, mandolin. And here you have a little tool to make it the, the slices thinner or thicker. You see, you see it here. Maybe here. You see, this is a now I sliced my cucumber with this. Um, yeah, and I can also put other other um, inlays in. To make stripes, everything. Uh, that is, that is um, a, a, a mental is a very a manifold a kitchen tool, and even the professional chefs like to use it because you can make perfect slices in no time. The only thing I found was the frustrating when I got, first got a got a got a um, mandolin. There are many out uh, out there, and you can you can take them. I pretty much, I guess, they are pretty okay. But you always need to practice a little bit. And this is a good one. In Germany they make it and um, at first I thought oh it doesn't work that's so bad I went to the internet there was a report saying said, ah this is not a good good good, uh, good mandolin it doesn't work and I thought hmm maybe I have made a bad deal but then I saw a, a chef in a, in a cooking show using the same cook uh, uh, mandolin and he explained a little bit and yes it works you just have to figure out a little bit how to do it that is perfect so all these uh, mandolins I guess they are very good, but you have to figure out a little bit how to use it. I want to show you today how I do it. And what I found out is here, um, this cut-resistant glove, as they call it, is the tool to me that makes it so perfect. Because, um, you know, that is cut-resistant because you cannot cut in the other easily. Yeah. If you really do put all your force into it, you can. But, uh, but of course, um, for the mandolin, which is a very sharp blade here, this is very sharp. Yeah. If you go through it like this and you touch it haphazardly by, mis by chance, by mistake, and you really, that could be very dangerous, um, and very painful. Uh, so <laughs> you don't want to do that. So they have a tool to keep the vegetables and the fruit um, between, this tool is between the fruit and the fingers so you cannot cut it. But with that tool, you don't get really uh, all of it. You always have a small piece of the vegetable in your hand, you cannot do it with that tool. But if you have the, the cut resistant glove, it is easy. I show you. I just have my um, salad bowl here. Yeah. Put the mandolin on top of it. And then I begin. Yeah. First I prepare the, 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 the onion, of course. I take the hard part of the peel out. Yeah. That's easy to do. And then I keep a little distance because the onion, the juice of the onion can be biting and make your eyes tear. Yeah. So you um, just open the mouth 
I do, I do. I open the mouth and take a little distance and I breathe through the mouth only, not through the nose. Because when the juice gets through the nose, there are small, small droplets, aerosols. <laughs> they go through the nose and then you begin to, to weep, to cry. But when you open, I open the mouth and I keep my face a little bit of distance, like arm length, nothing happens. So I show you. Uh, mouth open. <laughs> and now here. I check, I'll check if the slices are, yes. This is the slice of the desirable size I show you later. Continuing. And the onion slices. I'm a little bit focused here because I don't want to, and it's a little bit tricky here. I want to get everything. Yeah, that's, that's it. So. Pretty much everything from the onion, just a tiny little bit. I didn't get a tiny little bit. This is all I didn't get here. This is the firm ground here, where the root comes out. But that is almost nothing. It's no comparison to the um, to the um, to what you keep um, if you have the other tool that comes with the mandolin. They have, they, they bring it. They deliver. Uh, a tool that fits on the mandolin but with that tool you really have so much uh, from the vegetable here from the onion in this case um, and this is what I have here very pretty pretty nice slices and this is so important to have the thin slices because uh, the onion by itself is of course very sharp a hot vegetable red onion is a little bit um, chewier and not so hot not as hot as as the white onion, yellow onion, the yellow onion is crunchier and hotter. And for some purposes, I prefer the white one or the yellow one. But for a salad, uh, it might be for this salad, it might be nice to have the red one because it's not so hot. And also, when you have these thin slices, when you have the juice from the lime and from the cucumber that comes out of the cucumber and mixes um, with um, the uh, onion. It washes the juice of the onion out of the onion because the slices are so, so thin. And then the onion becomes more like a vegetable and you can eat it um, easier. Yeah? Otherwise some people don't like the onion because it's too hot and it's... it's um, but it is very healthy. It's for the intestine. It's super healthy. Onions are super healthy. And if you treat it in the right way, I mean, there are many ways to get the onion into more vegetable-like. This is one of it. Slicing very thinly. And then the juice washes out, washes out. That's very nice. So I have now the onion in here, and I put the um, um, cucumber on top, all the slices. It's one cucumber. It's a Spanish cucumber. I first I mix it a little bit before I put anything on top. I will combine everything. Yeah. It's a very simple meal. Yeah. And it is um, high in water. The cucumbers are mostly water. <laughs> Over 90%, I guess, of the cucumber is water. And still it is super nutritious, the green, and there are very famous nutrients in the cucumber um, that makes it very healthy. The cucumber is a perfect summer food. It is uh, at the same time food and drink. And the Roman soldiers, I always tell this story because I find it so exciting. 2,000 years ago, more than that, they put the cucumber in, that, in their backpack for long marches. And they have at the same time food and drink. So perfect food, of course, super healthy for the skin and so many other things. But here, very easy now, cucumber slices, onion slices, and now, tahin. <laughs> and they, I hope they, that's, that, that's the way they, they, they pronounce it, tahin. You have one lime, the juice of one lime goes on top of it. Now the thing begins to mix. You're washing out um, the juice from the onion. And um, as soon as the liquid is on the on the cucumber, the cucumber begins to also to release the water, and we have very nice effects here. Again, I will uh, combine it so the, the, the lime juice gets all over it. Everything now gets covered with a little bit of lime juice, so the seasoning, uh, the, um, the um, chili and the salt will uh, stick better. 
bit easier to combine everything. So that's first step. I combine everything, and here I show you my seasonings here for the tahin, the rest of it. This is the the zest of the um, lime. You see, the green lime is green. Uh, or yeah, usually most of the lemons are yellow. Some also are green, but. Um, the limes are green inside too. But this is a, the zest of the lime and it, it's a very strong flavor. And the most of the nutrients, the healthiest nutrients of citrus fruit is in this zest. So it's good to use it. And if you want a strong flavor, like with the tajin, this is recommended to use too. And this is chili flakes. So in different kinds of chili we have, the flakes are a little bit more coarse. And that's good for this kind of um, dish because um, when you have a very uh, small powder, chili powder, it uh, dilutes or it um, washes into the uh, dressing. Or the, there's a little bit of dressing in the salad. And then uh, it's a little bit, um, it's maybe nicer to have a little bit of crunch, crunch-like feeling from the, from the chili, also from the salt. The salt here, the same rule with this dish. I have here, um, I happen to have um, a fleur de sel. That is a, 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 a larger crystal salt. Yeah, it is salt is dried from salt water, and then the crystal of the salt they build when the water dries up, and then you have these large crystals, and they are used in the kitchen for decoration usually. But here, I'm going to try it today for uh, my cucumber tahin, um, because when you have the larger crystals. You have a nicer crunchy feeling and that they say is is a little bit extra um, excitement for this but you can take any kind of salt you have of course I just show you a little bit a different way today with this kind of salt if you don't have it you can also take other kinds of salt and also other kinds of ch chili powder you don't need to go to a shop now to find the chili flakes you can take any kind of chili of course be inventive be creative I just saw you show you here just a little extra. Yeah? So don't worry if you don't have it, you can use it. So first I put now um, um, the, the zest on top. Yeah. It's a little bit um, humid, the zest, so I be careful not to mash it together. I want to have it all over, not in one lump. Now the flakes also on top. The, the, the chili flakes are easy, easy to um, to put it on. And now uh, the, the the crystals, the fleur de sel, the salt goes there on top too. So that's basically it's very simple. I explain a little bit here to make it a little bit more uh, illustrative and uh, how to do it. To explain why and what a little bit um, the extra specials and so. But basically, you just put them together, toss it, and enjoy. That's it. Uh, now I want to try one. I want to try one slice of the uh, uh, onion, uh, uh, cucumber, where the onion is only the bite part. Uh, that's not the main part, the main part of the cucumber here. A little bit more exciting. I want to try now what it tastes like. Just take one out. Mm. Oh, wow. Yes. So cool. Oh, I really, that's a wonderful meal for a hot summer day. Yeah, I know. Really easy. And one more wonderful, amazing use for this very cool super tahin. <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching anyway. And if you like, like my video, subscribe MDV on YouTube. I feel the fire in the mouth. It's very pleasant, not burning. Nice, warming. That's what I want. Very good. <laughs> and a very earthen flavor, very simple. Ah, oh, I love it. I will come up with more of the tahin recipes, I guess. So much fun. And it's summertime, it just begins. So, yeah. And you can also subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. That's my channel. They get you a new recipe every single day. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. I hope to see you soon.